is a video from Arch City Comics, I believe. Here, Arch City Comics is a lot of fun. So, uh, thanks. Go subscribe to Arch City Comics uh, if you enjoy this video. Uh, hello, and welcome to the world famous Arch City Comics. I am Adam AF. If you're not already, please make sure you're subscribed and you've got that bell rung for notifications so you can stay up to date on all things Arch City. So, those of you who know me know that I am a huge, huge Batman fan. Uh, I grew up in the house of DC Comics, but uh, pretty much fell off lately uh, within the last year because of just the atrocious things that they're doing with my beloved characters. Most notably, my favorite Batman being absolutely ruined by Tom King. It's an absolute atrocity what he has done to that character. Um, and that was really, that was kind of the final straw for me. But I digress a bit. The point of this video is that I think that they're actually trying to pull me back in and with this new Batman series from Paul Dini, it just might do it. So now, myself, like many others, I grew up loving the Batman animated series, um, the new adventures of Batman and Robin, uh, Batman Beyond, all, all of it. It was all of those Bruce Timm shows were just absolutely amazing. Just great storytelling, great animation, top notch all around. They actually they still stand the test of time. So this was published actually on, back on Friday, um, but they're bringing back what was uh, essentially the Batman Adventures, uh, which was the comic book form of the animated series. Uh, so this says here. The co-creator Bruce Tim is to return to the world he helped make an indelible part of so many fans' childhood with a new comic book series set in the DC Animated Universe. As an extra treat for fans who may have enjoyed The Batman Adventures, a previous comic set in that universe, writer Alan Burnett and artist Ty Templeton, who worked on that series for much of its run, will return for the new book. Now this, is, this has uh, my ears perked up. It says, DC will publish the six-issue digital first miniseries as Batman The Adventures Continue, another reference to the Batman Adventures. You can see a first look below. Uh, so I assume this here is, uh, is, is the cover of, uh, of issue one. Um, you can see it's got some, uh, some villains here etched into the side of this building, um, some we, we never seen before. In the animated series, uh, there's uh, there's Deathstroke hiding in there. Um, I believe this is Etrigan at the bottom. I could be mistaken though. Um, there's not a whole lot of detail behind it. And then of course a bunch of uh, the returning favorites: uh, Joker, Harley Quinn, Riddler, Mister Freeze, Catwoman, Poison Ivy. Um, and I believe this is the Phantasm um, from that amazing Mask of the Phantasm movie. Uh, but moving on. It says, in addition to familiar DCAU characters like Superman and Lex Luthor, Dini told the magazine that the comic will introduce Jason Todd, Deathstroke, and Azrael. Fans familiar with the Batman, the new Batman Superman adventures, will be right up to speed, says Dini. Alan and I approached the writing with the idea that we were doing the season you might have seen if we had not put the series aside to do Batman Beyond. Dini also teased that they will be dealing with the Bruce Wayne-Lex Luthor relationship, more or less building on the world's finest animated movie. Between that and the Jason Todd stuff, it should be pretty clear that they are not looking to fill in all of the gaps in the time since the Batman Adventures. We're going to cover certain gaps in the original series, events that didn't have a bearing on the series at the time, but do now said Burnett. In other words, there will be secret histories that will turn Batman's world upside down. Things that no one knew were out there until now. Seems like they, they just love turning Batman's world topsy-turvy. Uh, it says, The Batman, The Adventure Continue, number one, will be available digitally in April, with the first issue hitting comic shops on May 6th. Now, I don't give two fucks about digital comics, but I think I will be stopping in on May 6th at my local LCS to see uh, to pick up a copy of this. Hopefully this is not the uh, final cover of number one because um, this is by one Dave Johnson who is an absolute piece of shit and I really hate him and I don't want his covers anywhere around my household. So hopefully they've got a variant or something else that is not Dave Johnson because I don't want this shit. But right after this announcement they also announced that Batman... 
they were doing a Batman Who Laughs uh, figure that they were going to add to the animated series collection. Um, they're doing a, a bunch of those um, the remastered edition of the of the classic figures, uh, and the fact that they're adding this one uh, makes me wonder if the Batman Who Laughs is not going to also appear in uh, this comic book slash new series that they are developing. Um, I'm very I'm very intrigued to see you know what they all add to the animated series lore. Um, obviously, uh, the Batman Who Laughs was probably the biggest addition to the uh, Dark Knight's Metal uh, miniseries that Scott Schneider put out uh, a couple years ago. Um, series was was eh, it was really over the top, kind of wild, uh, but it introduced all these you know various alternate Batman. Most of them, well, all of them evil in in effect. Uh, and this one is definitely the coolest. He even got his own miniseries afterwards, uh, but he was just a terrifying character. So this just makes me even more excited about what they're going to add uh, to this new Batman animated series lore. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know. You know the drill. Sound off in the comments below and uh, tell me what you think about this. Are you guys excited? Uh, could you care less at this point? I, I want to know. Anyway, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you got that bell rung. You follow me on Twitter at Adam underscore A underscore F. And we will see you soon.